is getting ready to tell me a riddle he heard. Okay, Squeaks, go ahead. What is something that you always have with you and that you always leave behind? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can I have a hint? The answer's right at the tips of my fingers? Wait, is the answer my fingerprints? Awesome, that was a great riddle, Squeaks. Fingerprints are the skin patterns on the ends of your fingers and thumbs. If you look closely at the tips of your fingers under a bright light, you'll see some bumps and ridges that make kind of a pattern. Those patterns have been with you your whole life and they go with you everywhere. But the bumps and ridges also leave marks behind. You might have seen these marks on a mirror or window or even on paper if you've gotten marker or paint on your fingertips. But we always leave these fingerprint marks even if we can't see them. That's because the skin that covers our bodies, including our fingers, makes sweat and oil. That sweat and oil mixes together and covers the tips of our fingers. When we touch something or pick it up, the sweat and oil get left behind and make a mark that looks a lot like the pattern on our fingertips. You can see this for yourself. All you need to check out one of your own fingerprints is a pencil, a piece of white paper, and some clear tape. First, tear off a piece of tape. It doesn't have to be too big, just enough to cover the tip of your finger. Put the tape on the table so that the sticky side is up. Then use the pencil to make a nice dark spot on the paper. Make it really dark. Now take your pointer finger and rub it on your forehead right next to your hairline. This will help to put some extra oil on that finger and to make a better fingerprint. Press your pointer finger on the pencil spot. Rock it back and forth like this. Now press your finger down onto the sticky side of the tape. Try to make sure you press straight down so you don't smudge your fingerprint. Carefully peel the tape off, stick it onto the clean side of the paper and smooth it out gently. Can you see your fingerprint? Scientists have noticed that there are three main patterns in fingerprints, the arch, the loop, and the whirl. I think that mine looks like a whirl. Cool, and you know what's even cooler? Each of your fingers has a different pattern and nobody else has fingerprints that are quite like yours. Your fingerprints are something that makes you different from every other person. When you get bigger, your fingerprints get bigger, but their patterns don't change. Your fingerprints are truly a body part that helps to make you you. The fact that everyone has different fingerprints can also be pretty useful. The police can use fingerprints to solve crimes. Like if someone steals jewelry from a store, if they know the thief touched the cabinets where they keep the diamonds, the police can figure out who did it by checking who has a matching fingerprint. You can also use a fingerprint kind of like a key or password. You've probably seen people do that to open up their phone or tablet. Oh, you're right, Squeaks. It is my turn to tell you a riddle. I think I'll use my fingerprint to open up my phone and see if I can find a good one. Thanks for joining us. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check us out on the YouTube Kids app. Thanks, and we'll see you next time here at the Fort.